and action. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Orange Cactus Coffee Show. This is Mike, I'm Jake, and uh, we're gonna try something very new and exclusive for you today. This is Blue Bottle's new dripper. They used to have Bon Mac make them um, a basically white Bon Mac dripper, it, ceramic with the Blue Bottle logo on it. Yeah. Now what they've done is they've invented their own. They contract with a company in Japan who makes this design exclusively for them and it's brand new. We decided we were gonna try it. It's got ridges yeah. in a smaller, it's got tighter ridges in a smaller hole. There, I said it. Yeah, they, they put some serious scientific thought into how they were gonna, you know, create this. They even say that they worked with some MIT trained graduates, you know, for the technology behind it. And the idea is that it just, the water goes where it's supposed to and stays concentrated and uh, the flow coming out is restricted and um, it's pretty neat to watch. Also came up with these uh, filters that kind of, they look a little bit like the Kalita Wave filters. Similar, yeah. Um, Cause it's got, you know, the flat bottom. It's not a cone, but it's a smaller uh, bottom that's flat there. And it also, they expands when water hits it. They say you don't have to pre-wet it. I like to pre-wet it cause I like to watch the, the filter expand mm -hmm. uh, to fill it. And to also to preheat the cup, we've got enough water to do that. Uh, but they say you don't have to. Yeah, they say that the uh, the way that they're made, the process, because they are bamboo, that there are really no impurities left to remove, so you don't have to worry about rinsing that out. Um, and I've tried it, and it tasted just fine. So you said 30 grams? 30 grams of coffee and 350 grams of water. That's what they recommend. Let's hit this guy. Fits nicely to the sides. There's no adjusting you have to do. Perfect. What are we using here, Jason? This is a single origin from Kenya. It's also from Take Flight. And the reason why we, we're not using Blue Bottle coffee with the Blue Bottle uh, dripper and filters is because I drank it all. I'm sorry. It, it's, a, it's a common problem when you have Blue Bottle in the house. I, it usually I, disappears much quicker than you would like. Mikey went ahead and teared it out, measured 30 grams of coffee. They recommend two to one, but I know we like to go three to one. We'll go ahead and... With water to coffee just to pre-wet it and to get a bloom going on it. The key, as with any of this, is just to make sure you get as much of the grounds, ideally all of them, hmm. wet, saturated, they release their gases, they kind of get ready, so that when you do start the brew process, when you add the rest of the water, uh, the water can distribute evenly. There's no dry spots or wet spots, because if it creates channels, it's gonna go to the wet spots and avoid the dry, and you're gonna have an uneven extraction. They recommend about a 15 second pour. They give you a little handy dandy um, booklet in, in with the dripper, so it's, uh, it's, very, it's very cool. Their figures are 60 grams is where they want you, which is two to one. Yeah. And then they want you to get to 150 grams, so add 90 grams of water. Okay. We're about 140 now. And then they want you to give another 100 grams of water, bring it up to 250, and then a fourth pour. Another thing that I liked about the booklet is that it tells you to grind it to a coarseness resembling sea salt. The extraction is is perfect every time. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been yeah. it's been wonderful. And it the time it just it for it's almost it forces you to do it right. Even if your pour is a little fast or you're a little sloppy, as long as you kind of get all the water yeah. in all you know in all the right places because oh, yeah. it, it slows down the the dripping. Exactly. You know? Unlike the V60, it's a bigger hole, so you can you can mess it up. You can under extract it pretty easily. Yeah. We'll do the final pour. That's four grams too much, Micah. Well, I, the people are, don't want to watch you take pictures. They want to see the pictures that you take. They want to watch you take pictures. I think it runs currently, and prices can vary, so always check, but I think it was right around 25 for the vessel. Um, the filters, they come 35 in a pack. There's uh, <laughs> Five bucks for 35, which is a little pricey, but hopefully they'll come down. Okay, I'll lock, I'll lock the Kenya while you're, while you're making another cup. Okay, number two. Well, the flavors are definitely stronger. It's definitely vibrant. It's definitely, definitely, definitely. definitely. I'm going to do mine a little better than I did yours. Gross. Well, good. You should. You deserve better. Normally what it does is when it's got a nice flow, 
it will come out in these droplets, but so close to one another, it almost looks like a pearl necklace. Like it's just like beads one after another, just straight down. And it's got a nice flow, okay? <laughs> That's good. That's good. I knew you were gonna like it. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's good very job. good. It's, Thank you, Deaton. Yeah, good, good job. Well, and running long like that on the uh, on the brew because they uh, they both went a little long. Typically, if you over extract, you would get bitterness. But I'm not really getting any bitterness. There's no bitterness. You're trying to think of words to avoid saying. I'm trying to. <laughs> trying I'm trying to not say smaller hole. And what do they say? What do they call it? Um, so we learned that a single hole works in tandem with the interior ridges to create the ideal flow for the most delicious pour over coffee. Look closely when pouring. There should be a single beautifully laminar thread of coffee leaving the dripper. <laughs> Forty vertical ridges, tighter, tighter ridges in a smaller hole. I'm telling you, that's just. <laughs> That's just what it is. Just... Any final thoughts? What do you think of the uh, the new dripper that Blue Bottle has to come out with? Is it worth all the hype? Great, it's good. I mean, it's it's a fantastic dripper. Is it better than the V60? I don't know if I would say it's better than the V60, but I think it's more consistent than the V60. You think it's easier to use than the V60? I think it's easier to use than the V60, yeah. yeah. It's I just it's more easier. consistent. I think, you know, this, and we'll have to do one on the Clever as well, um, the Clever is probably the simplest to use, but this, in my opinion, gets a better extraction. For me, I think if you especially have a guest over and you've got kind of, you know, here's your shot to shine, right? Let's show them what a pour over can be. Um, I would probably gravitate towards this just because I know it's a little more forgiving. And, and it's going to produce a better cup, even if I, you know, get nervous and, and mess up the pour a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we get nervous even being on camera here. I'm terrified. You know, you get nervous <laughs> to do a pour over, you mess it up, it's like the brain shuts off. So when people are watching, you know, you just get nervous. This keeps you from messing it up. The packaging is always really cool to oh, me. It's man. such nice. You get me going, look at this. Bam. Look at that. And then it's got this little piece of cardboard that keeps it protected inside. I don't want to get rid of the box. I just want to show you that. He wants to keep it in there, Look at in, the, that. In, the, in the cupboard, that. in the box. Look at that. That's cool. That's where it that is cool. You open it up, bam, there it is. Yeah, if you made it this far, thank you, thank you for <laughs> watching our uh, Blue Bottle video. If you're in the market for a dripper, you should check it out. It's very good. Yeah, it's excellent. Peace. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Three. Ah. Hey, look at that. Where's me? Three hundred and fifty or a hundred three. Ah. Ah.